In this video, we're going to take a look at rendering a small forest of trees created with pan effect strokes using Octane for Maya. So for this video, I'm using the trees01.ma scene, and I have a simple tree which was created using a pan effect stroke, the birch blowing light stroke, with a little bit of edits, and then it was converted into polygons by going to modify, convert, effects to polygons. The result is this group with one mesh for the trunk and another for the leaves. And for each of these I created an octane material. So I have kind of a light brown uh, glossy material for the trunk and then for the leaves I have a glossy material and I used some of my leaf textures. They're actually an oak leaf but it works well enough. Uh, to create the look of the leaves. So if we take a look at it here in Octane, I have a sun and sky lighting the scene, and then here's my tree. Pretty simple. And for this technique, you can actually use any mesh, like something created from speed tree or otherwise, uh, for your trees. It doesn't really matter. Uh, just make sure that you place it at the origin or as close to the origin as possible so that the trees appear in the right place when we create the mesh network. So let's switch to viewport 2.0. I'm going to select my uh, tree group here and I'll choose and I'll go to the animation menu set and choose mash, create mash network. The tree will disappear and then be replaced by this line of duplicates. These are instances. So in this scene, I do have a small hill created out of a polygon plane. And I want to apply these trees to that hill rather than have them in a straight line. So I'm going to select the mash node here in Outliner and switch to the mash distribute tab. And I'll set the distribution type to mesh. And then I'm going to middle mouse button drag the ground node from the outliner to the input mesh. Now you can see the trees appear on the ground. I'm going to turn off ignore ramps and I'm going to use the ramps to just, you know, randomize the rotation a little bit. So the scale is kind of a little bit overdone. We have some itty bitty trees and some big ones here. So let's edit the scale ramp. And then we can have, you can see we have the rotation ramp here. Which we can use to rotate the trees around. And then that works. And let's go up to the top here and increase the number of points here so we have more than 10 trees. So let's see what happens when we put in 150. Give it a few moments to update. And now we can see we have 150 trees. Let's try 200. And maybe 500. There we go, we have a nice looking forest. Now let's switch to Octane. So in previous versions of Octane, you would have to set the uh, geometry type for the input of the instances to scatter. So you don't need to do that when you're using Octane 3.08 for Maya. It will be automatically handled. So it does a pretty good job of rendering uh, mash objects. So we can see now this is rendered in Octane, and it does pretty good with heavy scenes with lots of instances. If for some reason it doesn't update when you switch to Octane, remember that you can always you can always adjust the precast settings. So if you go to Render Settings and under Octane Render, change the frame change the frames to precast setting, and it should force it to refresh in the Octane viewport here in the perspective view.